Welcome to Fly Tying Night tonight with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I'm Brandon Moon. Tonight we're going to be tying up a really cool pattern designed by Joe Cermelli. I hope I pronounced that right. Called the Master Splinter. If you grew up in the 80s like I did, man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were just absolutely cool. So this fly, just like the Ninja Turtles, are absolutely really cool and real effective pattern to fish. The hook we're going to be using today is the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML401 in a size 4. You can see we've cut the zero gravity Moonlit foam in the 2 millimeter black, the get, gape of the hook. And then we're going to start our thread. We're using Semperfly's Classic Wax Black in 3 aught for this size of hook. And we're going to start it roughly about three quarters up the hook shank and then we're just going to wrap it all the way back to the bend of the hook. We'll go just a smidge past that bend but not very far. And the reason we're doing this is <clears throat> we want to create a nice smooth underbody and then we're going to create that tail coming out just the back side of that just a little bit. I like a razor blade to trim out the thread. At this point I'm going to take some already prepped two millimeter pine squirrel in black. I've measured this out to be about one and a half lengths the hook gate or er, shank. And I'm gonna tie this in after I've pulled all the fibers off of that zonker strip, except for the very, very back end to act, act like the tail of the mouse. I'm gonna secure that down with some wraps going over the top. Now I'm going to take some Loctite Super Glue, the Ultra Gel Control. This is going to do a couple different things. It's going to lock in that tail really good and it's going to also help hold in place that foam so that it doesn't want to rotate on us. I'm going to take that 2 millimeter zero gravity foam in black. I'm going to lay it over the top to that 3 quarter mark. Don't mind my puppy in the back background. She wants to be held. We'll take care of her in just a minute. I'm going to secure that down with some light wraps going over. And then once I've got it down, I'm going to crank it down with some tighter wraps going backwards and securing that down. I want to make sure that I go all the way to where I started that tail there. Now I'm just going to secure it down. Now adding the foam all the way through this body is going to help it make it more buoyant for you, help, help it float better. I'm going to secure it down so that I have a little smoother underbody on this as I'm going to wrap my pine squirrel hide. The same way with the the hide going to the back there. We'll secure, I've got a little notch that I took off of that. And we're gonna use the hide to palmer all the feather fibers back towards the back. And I'm gonna take and wrap, pulling each time backwards. You can see how it's palmering. I'm gonna use the hide to lay touching wraps on the hide so that it I can get maximum coverage on my hook and use of my materials. And you can see it's just laying all those fibers rearward for me. And we're going to wrap this all the way up into the eye of the hook. At which point we're going to take and secure it down with our thread. I'm going to crank that down really nice and hard. I've got the 3 aught thread so it's nice and strong. Puppies are want to, wanting to play in the background. I'll pull that back just to lock it in place and help pull any fibers back. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'll trim that out as close as possible. I'm going to pull the fibers back and just finish securing down that hide strip any any bit that's exposed I want to cover it up. Now I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to spread the top fibers on this mouse and I'm going to lay them so that they go to the side. You can see how I did that just there. Now I'm going to take 
the foam and push it up over the top. I'm going to secure that down. I'm going to give a couple loose wraps over the top. And then I'll tighten it down. I want to make sure that I'm not crowding the eye of the hook there. I'll fold that over. I want the foam to go forward just a little bit. This is going to help create a nice pop and a wake. I'm going to pull that up. Now we're just, after I pulled it up, just to make sure that it's not going to do anything there, I'm going to take and whip finish this. With a good couple whip finish turns here. Again, I like to use a razor blade to trim my thread out a lot of times. Gives me a nice clean cut, so I'll take my razor blade, trim that thread out. Now I'm going to take some more of that Ultra Gel glue, and I'm just going to lay a small little dab of that glue just to help secure that down nice and good. Make sure that knot is secure and I have a durable fly. Now I'm going to take, spread that just into that thread just a little bit before it dries. Now we're just going to take and create a collar, pulling that foam up and cutting straight across. And this is going to create an ear-like profile as the mouse sits on the water. And there you have the master splinter. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.